how to solve this problem here, all right? Um, and there's a couple things, guys, when we're dealing with fractions, especially dealing with fractions and logarithms. We don't want to deal with fractions, all right? It's very simple with a lot of things. We want to get rid of our fraction. So what I want to do is I want to say, well, how can I rewrite this, all right, um, without using a fraction? And one thing, if you guys, uh, I'll just kind of do a little sidebar. I can rewrite one half to the x as I can distribute this x to both of them. So it would be 1 to the x over 2 raised to the x, right? Well, 1 multiplied by itself x number of times, it doesn't matter, it's always going to equal what? 1, right? So really what I have is 1 over 2 raised to the x power, which is the same thing as 2 to the negative x. So what I'm going to do for this problem is I'm going to say I want this to be 2 to the negative x equals 32. Then what I can do is, rather than trying to think of 2 raised to what negative number gives me 32, I'm going to use my 1 to 1 property, which states if I can get these to be on the same base raised to something, I can cancel them out. So if this is base 2, 2 raised to what number gives me 32? You could say 5. So 2 raised to the negative x is equal to 2 raised to the fifth power. Now using my one-to-one -one property, negative x equals 5 and x equals 5. So the kind of the key to this, x don't, equals negative 5. x equals negative 5, okay. The key to this is don't deal with fractions. It's making your life like miserable. Get rid of these fractions and you have to know the rule that we talked about. x to the negative first equals 1 over x or 1 over x equals x to the negative first. Get this memorized, guys, because you need to know it. All right? Don't deal with fractions. We don't, they're just making us more confused. All right? 